don't know, as a young chef, like I thought I needed a ton to get started. How do you get people to skip or I guess skip barriers of entry or just like do it, you know, like, you know, imagine imagine you were going to talk to, at a culinary school, right? Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of uh, 18 to 20 year olds and, you know, they're like, how do I open my first restaurant? Oh, what would your response to oh, that man. be? I think I would be the absolute wrong person to to do that. But you've already done it. Like your, your restaurant that. is open. It all happened. On a budget. Know, yeah, so and it's crushing. You know, I found the space and saw the potential and the just the collaborative vibe of that of that corner. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to put some kitchen equipment in here and just start cooking and see what and and see where it goes or, organically, which is what we did. And it's still sort of like a lot of people don't know exactly what we are, which I right. I, I love. You know, which like, is well, strange. I think well, a lot of businesses would like to have this. I mean, it's the branding. Some, the branding it's, is so important these days, which it is. But right, I don't know, man. It's almost like I, I just don't care about that. We, I just wanted wanted to do something that is good and made people happy and made people want to, you know, come to this space and and exist and have it be like a third space and a, you know, place for them in their life. Um, so I'm like, I'll bring the food and we'll see where it goes. But yeah, a lot of people still think that we're a pop up, even though we've been, you know, a restaurant now for going almost a year, about like ten months. We start, but cause, but we did. We started off as pop ups. You know, yeah. got the space uh, before we even had any kitchen equipment in it. We were just, you know, bringing a grill and putting it in there, and you know, putting a menu on a paper bag and cooking three items and to anybody that showed up. Yeah, um, just like super word of mouth, like yeah. handwritten menus. Little brown paper like a, bags, like a hot like, dog cart on a corner in a, you yeah. know in Chicago or whatever. Which we don't um, have things like that around here, and I think you very much confuse the general public. <laughs> They're like, "What is going on here?" There's like, yeah. there's people, there's a walk up window, there's food coming out of it, but there's no sign. Yeah. It was very strange. Well, for, we do, for we have a sign now. now well, yeah, it was yeah, made yeah, by yeah. the very talented Josh and Libby um, that hangs up on the on the side of the building, but. Um, yeah, I, d- I really just decided to get the space and then start cooking there and see where it goes. The plan was always to have it be something like it is now and become a, a restaurant, you know, and not just pop ups. But you know, I just wanted it to be sort of an experiment, which is um, what what it still sort of is, right. I guess. Yeah, you know, now we're a restaurant operating five days a week. We still have the the pop up vibe because on Mondays and Tuesdays when we're closed, we have other restaurants coming in and utilizing the space to keep it like, you know, sort of fresh and mysterious and exciting. Um, and multiple services, right? Because, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. if you're open five days a week, you also do brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. We do. Yeah. So, so we're dinner every night and then we do, we sort of um, try to like, you know, raise the bar a little bit and we shine at brunch, I think. But we do, you know, yeah. two different brunches, you know, totally different menus on Saturday and Sunday. The one we do on Saturday versus, you know, the one we do with you on Sunday. You know, it still is sort of a work in progress. I don't know what it's going to end up being. I really don't. But, it, yeah. you know, it, it did morph in from just being nothing, being from me cooking on a grill in a walk-up window. Little, to like, a, like Blackstone, just, yeah. like, slinging burgers. That's what was happening. Yeah, we had, you know, our friends Yard Bull Meats coming in and, you know, doing those with us. And now we're, you know, we're a, a full-service restaurant. We, we don't have our own seats, but, you know, graciously Golden Cactus gives us their seats. Right. And, that you know, we act as, like, a de facto restaurant for them. It's a great partnership. You know, we have QR ordering from the brewery and we're run. you know, we run food into people, but I think it's still, and that's cool and people like that and that's, you know, good for business and everything. But the essence of it is, of it is still the walk up window and just right. showing, up and shoot, showing up, you know, but I think interacting like, with the, with the customers and the guests and people, you know, seeing a handwritten menu that board. is different from yesterday, you know, up there and it wondering what special. it's going to be today. You know, like I think a lot of people once they get adjusted to it, like the different vibe of Food Hut, right? It's different, unique. Some people, it's like, you know, they prefer to sit down and have a waiter and and have a menu presented to them. And then somebody comes and pours water and then somebody comes and takes their drinks and then they put their order in, right? That's a whole vibe. That's, you know, traditional sit down style restaurant, all good and dandy. I think the walk up window and the kind of like relaxed nature of it really appeals to a certain demographic. And I think you all are starting to reach that demographic more and more. However, I want to touch on brunch real quick because brunch is contentious. And by contentious, I mean, I think most people love brunch. They love eating brunch. Cooking brunch, however, I feel like you rarely find people who love to cook brunch. So, like, do you enjoy cooking brunch? I love it. 
It's the genuinely it. like I you. I think the general, you know, the chef saying is like, you know, f brunch. Like everyone hates brunch. Brunch is the worst. Waffle batter everywhere. And there's an egg on like everything. The reason we're able to do it and um, have it be something that we love to do and yeah. an enjoyable experience instead of what a lot of chefs and restaurants have where they where they hate the brunch service. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna again like pump up our our team at Food Hut. Our team is awesome. It's true. Everyone is. I'm so lucky. Everyone there is phenomenal, and we it's a delicate ecosystem. Obviously, like restaurants are. 